Okay, so wedding season in full swing right now. A lot of couples getting married. So if you've been invited to a wedding, of course, you want to know what to do, right? It's a big process. And our next guest, of course, is our expert. We have our organizing editor, Brenda Prinzavalli, with more. It's always so much fun having you here because you always have this great setup here. I'm like, <laughs> oh, how sweet. But let's go ahead and talk about everything from the minute you get that invite. Right. And, you know, the thing about weddings now and, and just with anything now is that there's always this combination of the traditional and what is trending or what is new and current. And so traditionally, you might receive a printed invitation in the mail and, you know, have a little RSVP card, or you might actually, through an app or through, you know, a program like that, receive the invite. So just make sure that you are aware of which one that is and what to do appropriately with that. And Brendan, let's talk about that invite because I know I've been guilty of this in the past. A lot of people see that RSVP by date and they totally wait till the last minute or they forget and they don't take into consideration it's going to take a few days maybe to get to to that address that they put on there so let's talk about that when should they send that yeah. in well again whatever is that deadline date now you know most people probably build in a little extra time but you know that's for them that's a financial aspect and of it and space wise that they're making a commitment to people coming or not coming and I think a lot of people don't realize that I mean a plate I mean you're paying a lot Per guest. Yes, yes yeah. definitely, definitely. All right, so you get so, the invite, you say, yes, I am going, yes. count me in, I have my dress and shoes, I'm ready to go. What's next? <laughs> well, the next is all the things that you need to organize before you actually go. And traditionally, if for a gift, you might go to the store and you'd shop and you'd box it up and you'd carry it to the wedding. But, you know, trending-wise, go ahead and, you know, go online, see what the registry is, get it sent to them. Then at the end of the ceremony, they're not having to haul boxes and, you know, worry about something. security and such. So that would be one thing. And the other one is names. You know, sometimes you're going to a wedding with family that is of the bride or groom that you haven't seen for a while or friends you're like what was their name so go ahead and do the you know digitally look on social media get a get a refresh of you know what was the sister's name you know what was the mom's name so that when you get there you're a little bit more familiar and you're a little bit more comfortable mm, I love that okay let's talk about uh, the actual event getting there right, <laughs> right so now you're at the event and one of the things just to check with because we are so much in such a sharing mode these uh -huh. days of doing things on social media but it wouldn't hurt just to kind of check with the bride and groom and see what their preferences are because in traditional you know there was always that big reveal of the wedding pictures and the wedding video and now you know if if it's okay with them the moment somebody's walking down the aisle it can be all over social media so really find out what is their preference and and you know find out and honor that and exactly honor it and respect their wishes too because we do I know that uh, it, recently some brides and grooms are banning cell phones because people are so into taking pictures like they're you know the people behind you can't really enjoy the ceremony because they're looking at you know you taking a picture right right and you know it's also for you as the guest going ahead and being present instead of worrying about hitting record and all of that you know so and the other thing related to that is as a guest you can pretty much assume that anything you do <laughs> could be recorded. <laughs> and also over social media. Right, right. So if you are the one who's making a toast or if you want to make a toast, prepare that ahead of time. It doesn't hurt to have it written down. Mm -hmm. That's okay. But just be aware that, you know, any action that you take could very well be plastered around yeah. social media. And we want, of course, we go to these weddings and we want to have a good time. We want to honor the, the bride and groom. But it's also their day, their night, yes. which means, uh, hold off. <laughs> Yes. and drinking too much of that. <laughs> yeah. Like you said, it'll show up on social media. Exactly, exactly. Uh, anything else real quick? Any other tips? Um, you know, the one thing, just as far as for women, you know, have that perfect wedding purse and all the things in it. Have, you know, the Kleenex and have the lipstick and have, you know, uh, a little tied, you know, wipe or whatever. And have a little notepad with a pen so that if you do meet somebody, you can write their name down Ew. so you don't have to ask them <laughs> later. So for, for the women, have that perfect little <laughs> wedding purse ready Ew. to go. I like that. Those tips. Thank you so much, Brenda. Always a, a pleasure having you here. Guys, over to you. All right. Yeah, we love having Brenda. She's been with us the entire 10 years of the yeah. morning show. Yeah.